Welcome to the Equity Guru Investor Roundtable. We're talking resources because we got three people here who absolutely love resources, especially that guy sitting in the gold vault upstairs in the penthouse. Hello, Vichelle. Uh, Fabi is in Portugal, also digging the resources. And Galen down in the basement and myself down here in the basement. We're also, well, we're just digging. Uh, we are talking about Brixton Metals. They have been a client and they will hmm, probably be a client again, but uh, of equity.guru. BBB, boy, 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 on the venture exchange under Gary Thompson out of Vancouver, British Columbia. Bishat, what do you know? Well, for sure. This is a company, you know, we've talked about in the past and uh, quite popular with uh, our social media following uh, in recent days, actually. Um, Written an article about Brixton back in the day. We've talked about it. Assets in a good jurisdiction, location. They are cashed up with joint ventures and big names as shareholders. And of course, uh, on the stock price, we were at a major support zone. And just a quick thing about the stock price. I've been chatting with, you know, one of our uh, employees here at Equity Guru, and he talks to a lot of these mining companies, and they always say, hey, you guys done some good work uh, for Brixton in the past, and their shares have held up. Uh, quite nicely, although, you know, we'll take a look at what's happened today. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mentioned, you know, big money behind the, the company there. You have Eric Sprott himself, uh, Crescent Capital, Rob McEwen there, um, and Ivanhoe Electric, the, because Ivanhoe, of course, uh, are doing a joint venture uh, at a project, the Hog Heaven project, which is located, if I can find the map, uh, there it is in Montana, option to Ivanhoe Electric there. Um, recent news is uh, drilling at the uh, flagship at Thorn, uh, and that is in British Columbia, northern British Columbia there. You can see here that they've consolidated the project, some highlights of 35% copper, 26.8 grams per ton gold. And also, you know, when we always talk about closeology, I know Galen loves uh, closeology there, a very near Newmont's uh, producing mine there and uh, close to Golden Bear's past producing mines there. So in summary, assets in a good jurisdiction, they have cash, they have some catalysts, upcoming joint venture partner, big shareholders as well. And uh, the stock price is at a pretty decent level right now. Yeah, and I believe the last time we did talk about these folks, we were pretty stoked. Like it was a lot of enthusiasm. And uh, despite the weird market, I think yeah. the uh, enthusiasm continues potentially, Galen, no? Yeah, absolutely. It's an interesting project or interesting company, I should say, because they have interesting projects that they plan to take through to development and production, which is also very interesting. Many juniors get into the game to hopefully be bought out, sold off or whatever down the run to exit. But these guys want to build the uh, production and they want to make it happen. They want to grow into a major. And talking to Gary Thompson uh, and and uh, looking at the rest of the management team, it doesn't look like it's an impossibility for that to happen. Like these guys really know what they're doing. They've got a great track record in terms of industry experience. Um, the the deposits or sorry the the uh, uh, projects themselves show great prospect prospectivity. Uh, they're having good success in terms of of uh, assay results coming back from every one of them, and they've got great backers. I mean, they, as they say, said they got Eric Sprott, they got Ivanhoe Electric in on this, and these guys don't fumble about. They're not just throwing money at the wind and hoping that somehow it's going to catch and come back to them. They they make considered uh, decisions before they step in, and they've got a great track record in terms of who they put their money behind. And so when you get Eric Sprott just sniffing around and wanting to put money down on something, you know something's about to happen. So I like this company. I like where it's going to go, and I like where their projects are, good districts, uh, mining-friendly jurisdictions, um, and the closeology is awesome. And, uh, yeah, I'm just impressed. I, I really was. I mean, in terms of where a company can go, you know, many juniors, God bless them because we need them. But, you know, we'll stand in the middle of an empty hole and go, hey, look, there's gold here somewhere, I promise. Right. And you kind of have to go on hope and, and fervor and, and uh, you know, risk the shit out of your money. These guys, they I wouldn't mind dumping a lot of cash in their hands and saying, you know what, go find some stuff for us. So that's, <laughs> that's they, me. They, they handle uh, 
all sorts of uh, precious metals and materials and uh, about a 30 to $31 million market cap. And uh, Fabi, you have done very well in the resource area, uranium in particular, but thoughts on the, uh, the cap and the sector and then initial thoughts on Brixton Metals. Uh, so uh, it, the first thing that gets my attention is the fact that they're trading today at a 2020 low when all hell broke loose, right? And people were giving just uh, no hope or prayer to any mining stocks. And they're, they're back at that low, having actually advanced their projects. Mm -hmm. um, I always take a look at the roster. Who's the management team? Where are they coming from? And I'm seeing names that I really like. Um, I'm seeing, you know, uh, Predium or Predium. Nobody knows how to pronounce the name, not even the people <laughs> who founded it. And, uh, but, it, it, you know, Bruce Jack, successful project, made lots of money, uh, made lots of people rich. Um, they're in the right commodities. You know, they're looking for the gold, the silver, the copper. And uh, it seems like they're getting no love, even, even though they're cashed up. And they seem to be very um, good at going to the, the market and going to very influential backers and raising the necessary money in order to, to drill those assets. So it's interesting. You know, I'm not um, an expert in exploration by any means, but I, I see this as having lots of potential, especially because the market doesn't seem to, to give it much value, you know, beyond... Um, I don't know the you know the the cash or, or the team or anything like that. So, uh, Michelle, in terms of what Fabi just said, in terms of the market uh, not treating it maybe the way it should be treated, when is that going to happen? A bit of hope today, you know, with gold uh, closing green for the day. Of course, there's a lot of uh, anticipation for the Fed meeting and such. Um, silver is a chart that I'm a bit more interested in, just because. We're at a really major support zone. Uh, we're actually still below it, the $22 uh, zone, which on the weekly chart was a huge support going back to uh, 2020. But, um, you know, very similar to what Fabi said there about Brixton. Uh, we've actually broken below the uh, lows for, well, that we made in September 2021, and we're now trading at 2020 uh, lows there. And uh, it does seem like, just from a technical perspective, uh, that we do have a breakdown and there actually might still be some more downside, which might take us to the next support level at perhaps even 10 cents or, or 9 cents there. And, you know, I'm thinking that's a bit too cheap uh, compared to what these guys have, their cash value and such. So I would hope we could see some sort of uh, uh, reversal at this area here. Um, but I think, you know, we have something here, guys. There seems to be a, a good position or a good uh, area to accumulate some positions at a really cheap cost is this the matter of, of of news i mean they had news 20 days ago they started some drilling like maybe yep. i mean what's the trigger here that could be it yeah once we have some results from that as well but i think just an overall uh i guess let's say the fear you know dying down from uh, global markets and such and if gold and silver get a bit of a pop there with the u.s dollar coming down a little bit because that thing's been on quite the uh quite the rampage recently Right. All right. Well, we still have money to spend if we want to spend it. That's the beauty here on the Investor Roundtable. It's BBB, as in boy, 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 on the Venture Exchange. It's Brixton Metals. Uh, we'll go ladies first. Fabi, are you spending any dinero? Hmm. Interesting. I always lose money in exploration plays, but um, I like the price point. So maybe I'll throw 500 bucks into it. 500 bucks? Yes. All right, awesome. five hundred bucks. Galen, um, I should know better because it is an exploration play. But I just I'm dazzled by what's going on here. I really do like what I see in terms of of uh, projects and management. Those are, you know, good combinations to have in terms of like a strong management base and a good project, and the fact that they can bring funding in and they're cashed yeah. up. They could they can make what they need to make happen. Um, assay results would be awesome but they've had some pretty good results already i don't doubt that there'll probably be more coming down the line i'm gonna gamble which i don't typically do but i kind of like what's going on here and i'm looking at a 10 year window here so i'm gonna throw down five grand 
I know it might dip a little and I'll lose my opportunity, but you know what? I'm thinking 10 years down the road. So that's what I'm going to do. Five grand for me. Long-term player. All right, Michelle, you're going to split the difference. We're, we got a 500 and a 5,000. What did you say, Rob? Uh, BBB stands for? What was the acronym you gave it? Boy, boy, boy. Boy, boy, boy. Well, theirs is Buy Brixton Big. Hashtag <laughs> Buy Brixton Big. BBB. That's their hashtag. And is that where you're going to do? going in big. Um, you know, I think I did say in previous uh, roundtables that I was putting around uh, somewhere between 2 to 3K uh, in this stock. And I'm going to stick with that number. Uh, I like the price point here. Uh, nothing else has changed, right? They still have good assets, yep. cashed up. Uh, joint ventures. I forgot to mention Pacific Minerals. I believe that was the other JV, uh, Pacific Bay Minerals. That was the other one they had there uh, with the Atlin project. But um, yeah, two to three K uh, from a technical perspective. I do think it could maybe decline uh, a bit lower, but you guys know I'm a, I'm a fan of my gold and silver. So uh, this is one of the juniors that I think is a bit more. Um, I mean, obviously all juniors are you know a bit speculative and are riskier, but I think this one has a lot of things that uh, make me a bit more comfortable. Especially with the big names that are behind it. So, so we're going to say 3K? Sure. Yeah. All right. By the way, this is the second time in the last three months, but I think there's a bar missing in the second shelf in the second section back. Is your, which for your family members has been rummag rummaging I'm around? I'm new here, so it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say I, I had to cash it in, you know, to, oh, to cover your Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> with interest rates going up, no, I'm just trying Pay the mortgage. Or Gale install it, right? <laughs> buy your new tesla oh all right there you go it's bbb buy brixton big if buy well that's their moniker uh brixton metals under gary thompson in uh, vancouver british columbia uh some decent money going out the door interesting play um but we can't guarantee anything past performance does not guarantee future results of course it's been going downhill so we don't really want to guarantee that anyway but we can't promise you anything from what we've said. We expect you to do your own diligence and also your own homework. So please do it before you check out the BBB on the V. Uh, and that's it. Until uh, our next uh, adventure for uh, Galen Vichel and the fabulous Fabi, I am Rabbi, and we'll see you on the next Equity Guru Investor Roundtable. Did you say that segment was golden?